Welcome to the Persian Gulf. As some of you might know, it is currently a free weekend, meaning that both the Persian Gulf scenario map and the F-18 Hornet are basically available for tryout during this weekend. So if you can, I would recommend you to try it out. And this is going to be basically my very uninformed first impressions of the F-18 Hornet. I will basically just take her up for a spin and see how she handles and hope that all my control surfaces does what they're supposed to do. For this uh, momentous occasion we have chosen the Blue Angels skin because I've always liked the Blue Angels skin. It's actually quite extraordinarily beautiful and I've had a soft spot for it for quite a while. Flaps down, everything on right. Afterburner. I have to say she behaves quite well on the runway. I gotta like that. So we're gonna turn towards the city. That should be the city of Dubai right there. I'm not actually sure. Uh, I haven't actually checked into it, but uh, yeah, that looks like the uh, worlds of the islands or whatever the, the name of the place is. So let's just assume it's Dubai City we got there. Oh, come on, you won't even let me fly low. This airplane really is basically you are not allowed to have fun. I don't need to pull up, you see? Alright, let's push the afterburner and afterburner and really annoy the hell out of that computer system. Because if they can't handle my flying, then I need a mute button. Altitude, altitude! Basically, this plane flies itself. It, I don't know if it is the fact that I haven't set my HOTAS or anything like that, but right now it actually feels like it's all stabilizer. And yeah, this is Dubai. The engine sound is hell on my ears, by the way. Not a fan of that. So we're coming around and we are bloody fast. This is one of the fastest DCS airplanes I've actually tried. And uh, that's actually quite interesting. I think we're also experiencing a some degree of problems here. Uh, might be because we came out of a turn in full afterburner. We have killed the afterburner so far, but... Would you stop that? I know what I'm doing, or rather I will know what I'm doing, right until that point I actually crash into a tree. Let's follow the river. Alright, guns, guns, guns. Ah, the afterburner was still on. It wasn't supposed to be, but never mind that. Let's make a hard turn. Very hard turn and see how hard we can push this thing. Well, we're still in one piece. Master arm, master arm, master arm. 
We're not gonna fire into the buildings. We're gonna find some place where we can fire without actually endangering people. And no, we're not going to fly in between them. I've already tried my luck on that score for the day. I have to say that Dubai is actually a fairly interesting place to fly over. And I would really love to see a dog fighting map where it's like guns only, free for all, and you have to stay within the city limits. Unlimited fuel, obviously. And maybe even unlimited gun ammo. And, or at least gun ammo that can be replenished in the air. And then you just have a big air quake server. I would, I mean, if I knew how, I would, actu I would actually launch one myself, but I don't know how. And I don't have the computer to spare for it. Roll left, roll left. God damn it, you are annoying me. You really are annoying me with that constant thing of f do not jeopardize this multi-billion dollar jet. If there is a way in the comments to sh just shut down that in, that annoying computer lady, just let me know. Because I'm very interested in a way now. Alright. Adjusting heading. Going low. And pulling up. Break, break, break. Let's follow that road. Follow the yellow brick road. Out of Dubai. Roll right, roll right. Oh, come on! I, can't I just fly without you telling me how? Alright. We're gonna do it like this. We are actually going to do what crazy sim lady tells us to. And we are going to pull up. Are you kidding me? Again? Oh well. Pull up a little bit more. God damn it! Shut the hell up! I don't care what you see on your fancy little radar. This is seriously annoying. Then again, I don't really see where I'm flying right now because I'm not following the road. And I, if it's something I really should do right now, it's follow the road. I think I should slow a little bit down because I think the wind is currently interfering a bit with my control surfaces. And uh, either that or it's uh, a delay with the fly-by-wire system. I, I can't actually tell, but I think it's actually more of a hardware problem with my joystick rather than anything else. I would be surprised if uh, the horn had actually felt this way. Or it might actually feel this way and I'm not used to it. I mean, recently I've spent a lot of time with the F5 Freedom Fighter or Tiger 2, so... Yeah, let's go between them. I need to climb a bit. Whoa! Uh, that was far too close for comfort. I was actually convinced I would collide into one of the buildings there. The fact that we didn't is actually some sort of mi minor miracle. Two buildings straight ahead.
At least she's easy to maneuver with. Alright, so we have the International Airport, uh, our 6 o'clock now, we passed it way too fast. So, um, yeah. Slowing down a bit. I mean, the Blue Angel skin for this aircraft is really, really nice. Right, let's blow some shit up. At least if uh, we can, and we should Altitude. be able to. Altitude. All right, increase speed, target ahead. No joy, we did not. She's quick to rolls, but not really as quick to turn, actually. It's a very interesting thing, where I'm pretty used to an aircraft responding quicker. Alright, let's come about. Wheels and flaps. Now, please keep in mind, this is a true first impressions. Uh, I have not touched the Hornet before this. I do not know if there's some kind of secret trick to landing. And if it is, I might actually over... Just overshoot this. So it's time for us to actually land on the airfield we just strafed. That is probably not a good idea, but hopefully these people are... Hey, this cockpit is actually not that bad. It actually, actually looks pretty decent. But we need to increase our speed a little bit. I don't know why the controls feel this way, but I get the feeling it might not be the Hornet. That it might be that I need to double check my joystick calibration. Because right now everything feels a bit sluggish, like you have to t tug it and one extra time just to get it working the way you want it. And I'm fairly certain the horn is not supposed to feel that way. Palm tree! Yeah. It was a decent approach, but I think we fucked it up by uh, coming in far too slowly. So instead, we can just have a look at all these fancy F-15s. All these helicopters that are actually looking fairly good. And the fact that we just bungled our first landing. That's par for the course for me, ain't it?